Hello everybody, welcome back to yes another Microsoft Flight Simulator Cardiff video. Today I'll be taking you through on how to start the Icon A5. The reason I've chosen this aircraft is purely because it's the simplest, the cockpit looks very much like a car, so I thought start off easy and just get harder as we go on. So first thing you want to do is turn the battery master on. You can see this display here is booting up and the, uh, the only other digital display right in the center is starting up as well. All the others are analog. Second of all, what we're going to want to do is go up here and look for the fuel tank selector. Or just, There's only one tank, so we'll just set the tank to on. Then we'll go down to the magnetos and uh, start. First of all, I almost forgot to turn on strobes. So just like yesterday's video, while I was reviewing the Le Mole, the, the plane we were in, the TBM 930, doesn't have beacon lights, so we had to turn the strobe lights on. So we're going to do this in the Icon A5, because yet again, it doesn't have a beacon light. So we've got strobes and navs, and then I'll just do it for the realism, clear prop. And we'll go ahead and get it started up. Ooh. Our quick tip is to turn the AI back. control manage radio comms off before you start, because otherwise automatically, as soon as you start engine, it will say it wants to do pushback. All right. So that's how you start the engine, and um, that'll be it, really. Just the, the video. It's, like I said, it's a very um, very small plane, very basic. So it's just a quick video on how to start the Icon A5. So um, there you go, very short. Hope you enjoyed. That was me, Microsoft Flight Simulator Cardiff. Have a good day and goodbye.